<laughs> hey guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. In tonight's video, I will be discussing my reaction to the finally much anticipated brand new trailer for Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Oh my god, you guys. I just want to start by saying that when I watched this for the first time, Five minutes ago, seen it for the very first time, all completely brand new footage to me. I was so happy that it felt like my smile was about to fall off of my face because I was grinning so much and I was laughing so hard and I was cheering and I actually screamed. You guys, I was screaming as I watched this freaking awesome trailer. Oh my god, this looks incredible. Yeah. Oh man, I am so excited. I am so excited and I am so happy that we are only... Fuck, four months away now. We're only four months away until it finally comes out and then our appetites will be satiated. Oh man, you guys. Uh, it felt so good watching that. You know, I have been waiting so goddamn long for some new footage. And I love the sneak peek. Don't get me wrong. The sneak peek was great. But this new trailer with all the new footage featuring Doomsday and the Trinity standing together and... Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne meeting. Oh my God, it was like out of a dream. Oh, <laughs> I might cry a little bit. I'm not kidding. I feel a little teary right now. That's how happy I am to see this. <sighs> oh man. Okay, so let's start with the basics, shall we? Um, <laughs> um, Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent meet at a social gathering, most likely being held by the one and only Lex Luthor, who pops up in the middle of their conversation while it's starting to get tense discussing the other guy's superhero in their hometown. Oh, I love that. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I love this whole trailer, but that first shot, which shows those two meeting and talking to each other, and the snippy dialogue, like, that, you know, Bruce Wayne is like, well, let's just say Gotham City and I have a bad history of freaks dressing up as clowns. And you knew exactly what that was a reference to. And you could see the look on Clark's face like, mm, okay, touche. And I love how Bruce Wayne points out the hypocrisy of how the Daily Planet is reporting about a bat vigilante. When they've got their own vigilante to deal with, they don't call him that. They call him a savior or a god or an alien. But uh, he points out the hypocrisy of it. And I loved, I just loved that. I just loved how they were taking jabs at each other. And all of a sudden, in pops Lex Luthor. Acting a little silly, sure. I thought it was fan fucking tastic. He was super funny in that brief scene. And no, I do not think he's going to act like a silly, goofy, cartoony villain throughout the whole movie. He's going to have some big, serious moments. But he was definitely very funny in that scene. And he just outright says it. Oh, Bruce Wayne meeting Clark Kent. Oh, how about that? It's so great that you two are finally meeting. You know, he says something like that. Oh, man. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it so much. <laughs> and the footage teasing this epic showdown between these two icons was incredible. I mean, Batman has the Batwing, the Batmobile. You know, he's shooting at Superman. And, of course, all the bullets are bouncing off of him. His eyes are lighting up, shooting out his laser vision. And you can see they're going to be just pounding and wailing on each other as Superman elevates above them. And then they both just go hitting each other. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> I really am. I'm just, I'm just incredibly happy. I, I, <laughs> I mean, oh my God, it was amazing. And then Lois Lane and Lex Luthor having a scene together like that. And, you know, Lex Luthor talking about how if a man can't kill a God, then the devil can. It's like he was basically saying to Superman, who was standing right behind him at what we assume is the birth or the creation of Doomsday, who is definitely 100% appearing in this movie. That is guaranteed confirmation right here in the trailer. The roaring, the appearance, the monster. Oh, God, he looks cool. He looks so cool, so creepy. I wonder if that's Michael Shannon doing motion capture because I know he made some comments 
earlier a few months ago about being in this movie or at least wearing some kind of weird suit with flippers for hands or some shit like that. Maybe that's him or maybe that's just CG. I don't care. I don't know. It looks fantastic. This whole trailer, this movie looks amazing. And you know what? Guys, I'm so over all the hate, okay? I'm sick of the haters. I really am. I've been sick of the haters since day one, and I am sick of them now. I don't care if you're not going to see it or if you don't like it. Fine. That's your right. No one's going to make you see it. But to those of you who are just as excited and pumped now as I am, oh man, are we in for a treat. I sincerely believe this is going to be a great superhero movie and it's gonna feature the live action debuts for wonder woman for doomsday for cyborg for aquaman neither of whom were in the trailer but that's okay i'm sure we'll see them soon enough oh god but then that closing shot of the trinity all standing together getting ready to fight doomsday and the super funny moment between batman and superman when they realize wonder woman saved them from doomsday's fire breath with her shield like is she with you I thought she was with you. And yeah, okay, I know. You guys are going to start giving Ben Affleck shit for his Batman voice. You know what? Part of that is because of the robot, the mechanical Batman suit he wears when he's fighting Batman, fighting Superman. However, for that scene, he was wearing his regular costume, not his mechanical bat suit. You know why? Because in that instance, they are not fighting together. In fact, they are fighting side by side together. In fact, why wouldn't Bruce Wayne disguise his voice as Batman? If he kept his voice when... If if he kept his regular voice in the Batman costume, if somebody were to overhear, don't you think they would put two and two together? Or maybe there's a voice changer thing hidden inside his regular bat suit that we don't see and we don't know about it yet. Either way, I don't really care about how he sounds. I just love the way he looks. And that final shot of the Trinity all standing together getting ready to kick Doomsday's ass looks amazing. Oh god, this whole movie looks fantastic. You know, the meeting between Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne, Lex Luthor being the middle of it, and then Lois Lane calling him in saying and I love that line about she says you're psychotic and he says three syllables in a word that uh how does she say it three word three syllables in a word to sum up the lack of imagination of the simple minded or something basically insulting her calling her stupid and that is such a Lex Luthor thing to do and, you know, I wonder if at first Luther and Superman almost kind of work together at first because they feel like they have a mutual threat or enemy in Batman, which would explain why Superman was standing behind him as Luther was talking about how the devil could kill a god, you know, referring to the bringing to life of Doomsday, of course. Oh man, it was just so relieving to see him finally confirming, confirmed to be in this movie and that there will definitely de be indeed a big fight between the Trinity, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman versus Doomsday. Oh God, it is every fanboy's dream and I just absolutely cannot wait for this movie. To the cast and crew who worked on this film, to the writers, the directors, Zack Snyder, to the actors... Well done, you guys. This looks so promising, so amazing, and I, I certainly hope to... I hope to God that it is going to be an amazing film, and this certainly looks like it. This trailer is by far the best, and I loved the Comic-Con trailer. This tops that by like 10,000 times. No offense to the people who worked on the Comic-Con trailer. We all loved it. We all liked it. We saw it, but this trailer is so incredible as well. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm going to get going so you don't have to keep listening to my big mouth going on and on. I'm going to watch the trailer about five billion more times but before i do go out uh don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more contents and vi for more content and videos i'm starting to slur my words i'm so excited uh thank you so much for watching guys i hope you're just as excited and enthusiastic and happy about this brand new trailer for batman v superman dawn of justice as much as i am i absolutely loved it and i cannot wait to see your reactions your feedback your comments please sound off down in the comment section below leave your thoughts opinions opinions and uh, comments. Let's be respectful and civil of one another's opinions and beliefs, of course, as to whether or not you're looking forward to this movie. If you're not, please be polite and respectful about it. And let's not attack each other or troll each other or be hateful. There's enough hate going on in the world nowadays, especially with what just happened up in San Bernardino. Horrible, horrible situation. And my heart goes out to the families. 
Um, but my original point being, let's keep it respectful and not hateful. Okay, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in here on The Edward for uh, this trailer reaction, and I hope the rest of you join me in looking forward to and the much highly anticipated film, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, which opens in theaters March 25th, 2016. All right, guys, I better get going before I pass out from hyperventilating and screaming so much. I'm just so, so happy with what I saw, and I have 100% faith that this movie will be amazing. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the night, and of course, until next time. Is she with you? <laughs>